Well, 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 here we are. Wednesday, November 14th. Still cleaning the puke off my shoes. Light crude oil futures. What the fuck was that? I normally don't get things that incredibly wrong, I must say. Um, but, uh, wow. Unbelievable. It's hard to imagine that we were so uh, bulled up at $58. We had that first trip down, 58.24, back to 59.20. Uh, got ourselves into a decent average. But then we piled in at uh, 58.07. That might have been the worst trade I've done. I don't know, uh, in a while. Not for one second was it in the money, and even worse, uh, it just collapsed. Uh, there was money to be made on the left-hand side, and I didn't make it. Um, you know, we puked out uh, below 57.90, so there's no drama, but holy shit, what a move. 54... 75 to low. That's like 6% high to low, 7% top to bottom. What does it mean? Well, after a big down move like this, it's definitely, uh, you know, a capitulatory puke. Uh, but what makes it not like a reversible capitulation is it closes the lows. Uh, I think this is just like the death knell for the coming global recession and uh, like a few just strong forces came together, demand is lower, supply is higher, people are afraid, uh, extra hedging needs to be done, all of this. Uh, so we're using this as another nail in the coffin for the global, uh, upcoming global recession. If you look back, uh, when we came down from, um, where are we? When we came down, in 2007, let's see, 11, 9, here we go, so 2008, we're 146, uh, and then, okay, 146 is overdone, and then we get down to 90, still overdone, uh, we do that pop to 129, but then, from 90 on down, it was just a cascade of selling all the way down to 30. And this cascade was okay. This was bubble. This cascade down was basically global recession slash depression. Um, so this is what we're thinking. I mean, we've had 25% from the top. We're not sure, we don't have a dog in this fight today, but we're just using this as another sort of bellwether as to the future of the global economy, and the future doesn't look that great. Let's go to ES, traded as low as uh, 13 yesterday, kind of open where we closed, but we don't think we're going to get back above this 200 day this week. This is uh, sell high ones on the ES. Let's go back to our pal Euro, which um, we're slightly better at trading. Um, hopefully you sold this this uh, move above 113, 113.20 the high. It's pretty standard now. Uh, looks very awkward. We could get we could get stopped on this. Uh, your stops have to be above uh, above this high here, 113.20. But it's still core short, um, and we've got uh, industrial production today in zoo, so we'll have to see um, see what comes up as far as euro. But until we daily, till we have a daily close above one thirteen thirty five, uh, this thing is is, is still sell on rally. 
Dollars are first red day in a while. Um, we're course short with a much smaller position. We do feel like we're probably going to get these. Uh, we're going to get some between 32 and, and uh, 22. So we're waiting down there. Still long. Uh, shorts are long dollars. Uh, but the position size has been reduced. Obviously, after you put 50 big figures into a trade, uh, yesterday we cut it down a bit, but we're still, the bias is still the same. We're trying to buy dollars, sell czar, uh, for the reasons I talked about yesterday on Twitter. Dollar yen, this sucker should flip today. Um, we're going to be uh, aggressively selling this through 113.60 today. I think stocks are going to head lower. You can see U.S. rates um, are mildly lower. So, risk off, rates lower, dollar yen should turn. What else is out there? Aussie's doing nothing in the middle of nowhere. Dollar CAD doesn't seem to like it up here, um, but with oil collapsing, it's a tough one. So, with no trade there, dollar max, higher, risk off. Immigrant caravan, yada, yada, yada. Not a whole lot to say, actually, now that I look at these things. Um, and I'm just still sort of fixated with oil, like, Christ, that was a, that was a humdinger. Um, so it looks like we're going to be heading into this, this open this morning pretty quiet. We've got our core short euros. We're going to keep trading around that because that's what we do. Get better averages um, so we can handle some of the irrationality of FX. When we're putting on a medium term directional trade, which is what we're doing right now, um, this is how we try and survive what we call the silliness. You know, you could say the move up to 113.20 is silliness. Everyone sold through 113. There's going to be loads of stops between figure and 10. 20 was the high. Um, because we bought 40s, sold 60s, bought 40s, sold 60s, bought 20s, sold 55s. Took half the position off 50 after the 113 break. Our average is, is uh, you know, near 114 practically. So we have more flexibility to handle the silliness of foreign exchange. Anyway, that's the way we do it. That may, ne may not necessarily be the way you should do it. Obviously, I have uh, loads of friends in the business who they all do it different ways. Some people never, um, never trade their positions. Some people have the same position size the whole time. As long as your metrics work, as long as your ratios are correct, biggest days have to be a big ratio higher than your your worst day so if your worst day is 10 grand your biggest day needs to be a hundred uh, and then your your win rate has to be a ratio that makes your average loss and average gain correct I'm not going into like some crazy trading tutorial um, but because the levels haven't really changed in any of this, uh, just kind of babbling on, I will now stop babbling and let you guys get on with your day. I guess one last thing, BTPs. Um, it's a pleasurable short for us. We, we missed out on selling high ones, a few high ones recently, but we're going to get back into this. Uh, I think today... We're going to be selling up near 122, looking for this to kind of twist and dip down, make a new low into 118 going into the end of the year. All right, now I'm really shutting up. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Profits, profits, profits. Go, go, go.